In the early 2000s, Amanda Bynes was a household name. A success in both television and film, Amanda seemed to be on the verge of becoming one of the few young actresses of her generation who didn't go off the rails. You clearly have your act together. Uh, let me go through my little checklist here. You haven't been to jail? <laughs> no. No jail? No, no, uh, no re not yet. Rehab? No. No rehab. Amanda <laughs> Bynes, what kind of a starlet are you? I know, what's wrong with me? I don't know. It's, it's shocking how it, it's become popular to go to rehab. But starting in 2012, things began to unravel for the beautiful young star. Amanda's bizarre behavior eventually forced her to depart from the spotlight. But what was the true reason behind the young actress's mental breakdown? I'll be exploring one possible theory coming up. What's happening, educated guys and gals? Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here on this channel and you want to learn how to unlock the meanings behind the symbols and narratives in popular entertainment, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Then you can hit the bell. That way you'll receive notifications every time a new video comes up. All right, let's delve into one possible theory behind Amanda Bynes' mental breakdown. Amanda Bynes was born in Thousand Oaks, California in 1986. Her father, Richard, is a dentist and her mother, Lynn, a dental assistant. At age 7, Amanda began appearing in commercials. At age 10, she performed at the Laugh Factory. The young star's acting debut came in 1996 when she starred in the Nickelodeon series, All That. On this show, Amanda's Ask Ashley skits became very popular. This led to her being given her own variety program called The Amanda Show. In 2002, Amanda continued her success in television by starring in the WB sitcom What I Like About You. The show co-starred Jenny Garth of Beverly Hills 90210 fame. The actress also appeared in several movies including She's the Man starring opposite a young Channing Tatum and in Sydney White, a modern retelling of the Snow White tale. In 2012, things began to go downhill rapidly for Amanda. She was pulled over for talking on her cell phone while driving, but then fled the scene while the officer was writing her ticket. She was twice arrested for DUIs and was twice involved in hit and run incidents. Her car was impounded when she was pulled over for driving with a suspended license. All of this transpired in 2012. In 2013, her tirade of strange tweets began in which she made sexual innuendos towards Drake and other celebrities, while also tweeting some dark allegations like claiming she was molested by her father. In May, she was arrested on drugs drug charges after tossing a bong out a 36th floor window. She appeared in court the next day in a strange blonde wig. In July, she was detained after lighting a small fire outside of Sherman Oaks' home. Eventually, Amanda was hospitalized and her mother was granted temporary conservatorship over the actress's affairs. Various theories have been postulated as to what may have been the true reason behind Amanda's mental breakdown. On The Amanda Show, the actress played a plethora of different versions of herself. This has led some to suggest that a 13-year-old assuming so many different personalities at such a young age is symptomatic of MK Ultra mind control and disassociative disorder. But you had your own show when you were, like, what? Uh, 16, 15? I was 13, but there were so many like characters that I, it wasn't even like me. While that is possible, a better theory centers around former Nickelodeon producer Dan Schneider. Schneider has been credited for finding breakout stars like Ariana Grande and Jeanette McCurdy, and he is responsible for the success of nearly every hit Nick show. But there have been also long-standing rumors that Schneider has had sexual relationships with his young teen stars, and that acquiescing to his advances has led to spin-off shows, while refusing has led to blacklisting. When I first began doing research for this video, the only publication that had even attempted to expose Schneider was the conservative website Red State. But after Schneider suddenly parted ways with Nick in late March of this year, some of the mainstream media began to slightly pick up on the story. Kudos to Red State for exposing Schneider so early. Viacom has been rumored to have given countless payouts to parents in order to protect its many Nick pedophile producers. One source told Red State that her friend was definitely molested by Schneider, but no one said a word. The allegations are eerily similar to the Harvey Weinstein case, but much worse since this scenario involves preteen and young teen girls. Jamie Lynn Spears was virtually dropped out of Hollywood when she got pregnant at age 16. She has never named the father of her child, but a long-standing rumor has been that Schneider is in fact the biological parent. Schneider also allegedly molested Amanda, and that was the reason the young star was given her own spin-off show. Amanda was an incredibly talented performer, and her loss of touch with reality between 2012 and 2015, her infamous tweets about her parents prostituting her, and her allegations that her father molested her could possibly all be the result of her bitter feelings towards her parents for her allowing her to be molested by Schneider. In the same 2003 interview shown earlier, a 16-year-old Amanda told Wayne Brady that she really didn't want to do television. Yeah, Laugh Factory when I was 10, that's where some of the producers saw me for all that on Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. So 
they asked me to come in and I was like, well, I don't, I was like, I don't really want to do TV. I was, I was doing plays, like I was in The Secret Garden and To Kill a Mockingbird and I was like, kind of like, I don't know. And in the 2007 interview on Jay Leno, the actress told the talk show host that her father always wanted to be a famous comedian, but was unsuccessful. In 93, 1993, I was seven. Uh, my dad actually, who uh, was a dentist for a long time, submitted a joke to you, and you actually told it on the air. Oh. My dad taped it. Been living off the interest of that all these yeah. years. I well, sent you 200 more the next day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And none ever <laughs> yeah. made the air. Perhaps Richard Bynes wanted to live vicariously through his daughter, despite the dark price for fame it would cost the innocent girl. Of course, even with Schneider's release from Nick, all of this is pure speculation and rumor at this point. But then again, so were the Harvey Weinstein stories. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. I upload a new video every Saturday. If you like the content on this channel, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. If you have your own theory about what the true reason was behind Amanda Bynes' mental breakdown, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. Remember that the lion of the tribe of Judah rules over the nations. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.